Raw Story is reporting on an unbelievable, unbelievable story about uh, the far right fringe on the internet. So they explain here, neo-Nazi icon Mike Enoch, or Enoch, however the fuck you pronounce it, uh, the pseudonym used by the man who created the pro-white nationalist website The Right Stuff, has resigned from his role at the website after being outed by rivals as a New York website developer named Mike Penovich. Penovich. The real shocker, however, wasn't the identity of Penovich, but the identity of his wife, who happens to be a Jewish woman. This is particularly surprising because he often makes jokes about the Holocaust on his podcast, where he also regularly talks about killing Jewish people. In a post on the Right Stuff's uh, password protected forums, Mike Penovic admitted that he's married to a Jewish woman and said he didn't want to see anyone making excuses for his longtime deception of his fellow white nationalists. Yes, my wife is who they say she is. I won't even bother denying it. I won't bother making excuses. If this makes you want to leave the movement or have nothing to do with the right stuff, then I understand. Don't lie for me. Don't try to defend me to those attacking me. Don't jeopardize your own reputation by defending things that you don't think you can. This story is just unreal. And I feel horrible for that poor woman, man. I mean, it, you accidentally married a fucking neo-Nazi and you're Jewish. Oh, oh, but the part of the story that I really am just so baffled by is what is going on in that guy's head? Because either he really drank the Kool-Aid and he believes the propaganda and he really hates all Jews and he kind of wants to kill his wife. Or on some level he knows that the toxic neo-Nazi ideology is utter bullshit and it's laughably stupid. In which case, why are you doing the website and why are you a self-described neo-Nazi? So either way, the guy's a massive walking contradiction and a confused ball of anger and bad emotions. So... I don't know what it is, but what a bizarre situation, man. And, like, did you know when you married her that she was Jewish? Did you not know? Do you not believe the shit you're saying? I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it. I mean, I guess it's somewhat similar to, you know, Ted Haggard, for example. Massively anti-gay Christian preacher who you know, was caught doing crystal meth off a gay hooker's ass and having marathon sex with him. You know, I hate gays, I hate gays, I hate gays. Oh, please, give me, give me penis. All I want is dick. Uh, in, in this case, I hate Jews, I hate Jews, I hate Jews. Oh, Jewish women are so hot, I want one! What is it? What is it? I don't get... I guess what really frustrates me is people who who don't live out their values. Now, in the case of a neo-Nazi, don't live out your values. Because <laughs> living out your values would be, you know, horrific and genocidal, quite literally. So don't do it. But it's, it's just strange to me that you can have somebody who professes to believe in something so strongly, and then obviously on some level they don't believe in it because they're doing the opposite. You know? There's a strange... I, I would love to read a lot of stuff from psychologists or psychiatrists or experts as to the science behind cognitive dissonance because it really is a strange strange phenomenon and it's something I don't know I have again I just have a hard time wrapping my mind around it because the idea like so me I'm this big time you know liberal uh, commentator and, and, and news guy and it would be the equivalent of me like the second I get off air going to, like, Republican uh, gatherings and meetings, and, you know, I'm secretly some sort of fucking far-right crazy person. I'm secretly a Rush Limbaugh lover and a Rick Santorum voter, and, like, that's kind of what it's like. And I, for the life of me, I can't... What kind of a person would I be if I do if I do this show, massively like progressive show, and then it's like anyway. So let's talk about 
my favorite uh, person, Sean Hannity. Like, it just, it, it does not compute, does not compute, cannot figure it out. That's what goes on in my mind when I see this. But anyway, there you have it. A wild story, a ridiculous story. And, um, fuck this guy. And I feel horrible for his wife again. Uh, do yourself a favor, leave him. He's a bad person.